love beautiful souls with mystic flows of love and love and unpack the truth bringing dark into light please take what resonates and leave it does not fit for somebody else quite the reason i'm pushing thank you to everyone liking sharing subscribing my channel thank you thank you so much guys i love you now be aware of my it's not for you guys for the most high so thank you so much if you're new hit the like button share subscribe hit the bell button notify them. you guys uh right now for the month or for for the july i have a special going on from july 1st to july 4th july 1st to july 4th i have 25 percent off and free shipping handling in my etsy store 25% off, which should be in my store. That does not include my readings, my personal readings, okay? Spiritual readings and stuff like that. Um, it's my products, okay? So my bracelets, anklets, body butters, body scrubs, body oils, candles, my squeeze wax melts and stuff like that. Okay, those are all 25% 25, 25 off until the July 4th, okay? Until Thursday. Okay, so if you hear this message after July 4th, um, they won't be on sale anymore. So if you will hear this before then, um, please check that out. 25% off, which should be handling, Okay. You guys, uh, I will pull some names first, but I want to get the message out first. Okay, God is going to destroy your ex and the coven that he he's in, okay? He or she's in, okay? This could be a male coven, this could be a female coven. God's going to destroy them, okay? God's going to destroy your ex and destroy this coven, okay? It's going to demantle this coven, okay? Demantle this ex. They're going to have some heavy, heavy, heavy karma, okay? Heavy karma. Some of these individuals... This coven, this ex is going to be sick. Health issues. Losing their homes. Losing their jobs. Not having friends. Not having family. Not having gifts anymore. Spiritual gifts. Lose their talents are going to be gone. Okay? So, so these people could be talented. Okay? They could be gifted. They could be um, gifted, talented, and creative. Okay? Creative. Whatever is the case. God's destroying them. God's taking it. God's taking their power. God's taking their talents, their gifts, everything from them, okay? They're going to have nothing left once God's finished with them. They're going to have nothing left. You have always been protected. Even if you've been having battles, obstacles, challenges, whatever's been in your life, you've always been protected, okay? Even when you had some rough times, okay? I'm hearing you could have had some rough times, okay? Even when you have... Felt like you had nobody. Felt like you didn't want to live anymore. Because I'm hearing some of you guys, most of you guys, majority of you guys, felt like you didn't want to live anymore. You didn't want to go on. You wanted to give up. It was because this ex-lover, this ex, uh, and their coven, okay? This ex-lover and the coven. His coven, her coven. They were, they were attacking you. They were making you feel that way, okay? They were doing things to you that made you feel unstable, unhappy, and not want to live and not and wanted to give up okay they were wishing ill on you they were doing sacrifices they were they were doing word magic they were doing spell work they were doing witchcraft okay dark witchcraft uh, blood rituals all kinds of things okay because something about you that they didn't like they didn't want you to possess have and they were coming against you They thought they were outsmarted, okay? They thought they were outsmarted. This ex-lover and this coven thought they were outsmarted, okay? They thought that people didn't see them. They thought they weren't being watched. They thought that God wasn't watching them. Thought you weren't going to catch on. Thought that you were going to find out. If your life was really, really in a bad... Like, if you had a really, really tough life or, like, a tough situation or a tough cycle, like, a few months, few years, it was because of them, Okay? It was because of them. They could have been gaslighting you. Okay, I'm getting, I'm pulling, I get that a lot late, like in a lot of collective readings. I, I, people don't realize how ga how much gaslighting occurs and happens. And a lot of people don't believe in gaslighting, but it, it's real. It's manipulation. It's bullying. Okay. They're making you feel like you are crazy, that you don't know what you're talking about, making you doubt yourself, question yourself. And you knew what you were talking about. You knew, okay? You knew. You had this I intuition is because God was with you. God was within you the whole time. Spirit was with you the whole time. Telling you, no, 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 no. This ex-lover, no, no, no. This ex-lover, this coven, mm, mm This ex-lover is working with somebody. This ex-lover has help. This ex-lover is a part of something. And your gut was telling you something the whole time. You're wondering, I'm hearing like you could have been wondering like, why is my life so hard right now? Why am I having such 
a hard time. I'm having so much struggles right now in my life. Why am I not be able to pick my feet back up? Why am I not able to get a job? Why am I not getting home? Why am I not able to be happy? It is not because of you. It's because of them. Okay? It was not because of you. It was them. They try to keep you an illusion. They try to keep other people an illusion too. Okay, they're trying to turn people against you. This ex-lover and this coven was trying to turn people against you. Your community against you. They wanted your whole community against you. Your family, your friends, your co-workers, people that you don't even know against you. They had people gang-stalking you that you didn't even know. People you've never seen before and then all of a sudden you're like, why do I keep seeing this person? Why do I feel like I'm being followed? Why do I feel like I'm being attacked? Why do I feel like I'm, I'm never alone? It's because they had people following you, watching you, looking around. They didn't want you to see their demise. This ex-lover didn't either. This ex-lover could have got close to you just because the coven wanted them close to you as well. Okay, so there was an ex-lover that got close to you. And it was because of the coven. This coven had this ex-lover come in to get close to you. To know, to hear what you know, to see what you know, okay? To see what you're about. This again, like I said, coven can be a female or male. I, I'm not hearing cult. I'm hearing coven. Coven of warlocks or coven of witches. Practicing dark arts. God started taking away their their material things, taking away from their money, their friends, their family, and like I said, they their their health is declining. Okay, some of these coven members, some of this, this ex-lover coven, some of these individual coven could be having brain aneurysms, heart problems, organ failure, just sudden illnesses, viruses, coven. Kidney failure, pancreatitis, like things that are like their, their body's failing, their body's shutting down. Because of the dark arts that they were practicing. That they were involved in. They're involved in a lot of, lot of dark, 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 evil, wicked shit. And for them to think that they're going to be able to get away with it and that God didn't see it. It's really, really ironic. I, I just heard, I, I don't know why I heard ironic. I heard that. Something's ironic. So I am going to get some names. To see it and then we'll pull the cards too because i might hear more when i'm pulling names some of these coven members or coven i don't know if you say coven members whatever some of them you met some of you didn't okay some of them in the shadows okay there's a select few that you didn't even know or have ever met okay you didn't know this ex-lover was running back to this coven and telling them everything that you were doing that you're a part of what was going on in your life, how you're feeling, how, how you're reacting. You know, you didn't know this ex-lover was going back to the coven and telling them every little detail of your life. Every detail. A lot of personal stuff to them. And then they were using it against you. This ex-lover was taking your personal items, your hair, your DNA, whatever it is. You know, they could have took your toothbrush. They could have took your hairbrush. They could have cut your hair. They, you know, this ex-lover could have took that to bring it back so they could do those, uh, those rituals. Your clothes. Anything that you had some kind of your energy on. Because anything. It could be a, even a bracelet. Okay. If you were wearing that bracelet and had your energy on it. Your hair. Your DNA. Whatever. You could have. They could have brought that back too. Anything that had your energy. Anything that um you cared for or you know had. I, I am seeing somebody like cutting their Like cutting your hair when you're sleeping. Or like when you're not occupied. They just took the scissors. Or even the, or something about like you had somebody cut your hair. And like they kept your hair. Okay. They kept your hair. And I, I saw, like, I'm seeing somebody taking your toothbrush. Okay? Bringing your toothbrush. Using your DNA. Meeting up. Something about this ex-lover would disappear for hours on a certain night. Okay? It could have been a certain night. This ex-lover would disappear for hours. It could have been even a day. And it was because this ex-lover was going back to this coven. Feeding him information. Getting stuff from him.
Okay, I have 15 here, but I'm not going to die. I heard something. I don't want to forget it. I heard it's because you have big energy. Okay, big energy. And this big energy is not like a bad thing. This big energy is like you, there's something like important about you, good about you. Like they, they wanted or they felt they needed. You're a higher frequency of being. But I just, I heard big energy. So you can take it however you want. So 15. Thirty-five. You're shining bright. Okay, I'm hearing you shine bright. You're like a diamond. Okay, you're a star. Star scene. Your energy is not like anybody else's as well, too. Okay, well, bump that. It's like, see, I just bumped that. Your energy is not like anybody else's. It's not. You could be very optimistic, very positive. You could be a very forgiving person too, and like very trustworthy. Okay, and trusting. You trusted this ex lover. You trusted some of their, their coven members, okay? You trust them. You you didn't think that everything you were saying or everything you are doing was going to go back to other people. And they were going to use it against you. And they're doing spell work. I got spiritual hiccups. You didn't think that people would use your, your life experiences or what you went through against you. Because I'm hearing something like you went through a lot and like they used that against you. They, they manipulated it, okay? They, they made you look out to be somebody that you weren't. This is really, really big betrayal here. Okay? Severe tr betrayal. That you didn't deserve. I'm going to get this crystal. I don't remember getting this crystal. I don't remember getting this one. Wow. Okay. So we're going to do names like I said. Okay. Manor Brook. Sparkle. Mason City. Dementia. Okay. Some of these people may get met dementia or Alzheimer's. Okay. They try to make you forget. They try to make you lose your memory. Okay. Something about them doing spell work to make you forget, lose your memory, put you in a sleeping spell. Okay. Like Sleeping Beauty. Okay. Making you sleep. Okay, making you not awoke. Okay, now they're going to have loss of memory. They're going to have dementia. They're going to forget thinking impaired social skills, okay? They're not going to remember things. Tricks are for kids, bitches. I'm not going to put them all up there, you guys. You guys can see tricks are for kids, for bitches. They're tricking you, okay? They're really tricking you. Roseville, someone's dating the plug. So this ex-lover could be dating a plug. You could have been dating a plug, okay? Plug is a drug dealer, okay? Or somebody in this coven could be a plug. 999, nine, nine. you're completing a cycle, okay? You're a light worker, okay? A, a beacon. Beacon is something of a higher um, light where you warn people, okay? You're supposed to be warning people. And that could be why they're trying to stop you, too. Um, this coven was trying to sacrifice you. They were using things against you because you were supposed to warn people. You were supposed to be that beacon in people's lives, okay? To bring a warning onto people. Um, you have a life mission steering in the right direction. Tokyo, chain smokers, so they could be smoking a lot. Okay, because you can smoke a lot. This coven could be drug addicts. Okay, I, that, I'm, I'm hearing that. This coven could be drug addicts, okay? They could be using a lot of drugs. Okay, psychedelics, you know, LSD, LCD or LSD, like, you know, um, acid, whatever. They could be using all kinds of stuff, okay? They could be smoking a lot of weed, too. Fentanyl, okay, see, and then fentanyl comes out. Fentanyl, bioweapon to get rid of addiction to killing overdoses, okay? So we have fentanyl coming out. Um, been stuck on karmic partner, maybe in, maybe in jail, not in person. Okay. So being stuck on a karmic partner, partner, this could also be somebody stuck in a like karmic cycle, karmic partner, you know, like in jail. Okay. They can't get out. What I'm hearing is like, you could have been stuck on this ex-lover for a while. And this is what's actually going to show you like, Hey, this ex-lover betrayed you. This ex-lover came against you. They're working with a coven. God's going to destroy them one by one. Their, their life is falling apart. Like 
They're not going to be able to do things anymore. They're not going to be able to freaking make any more moves. Okay? It's like checkmate. It's game over. Okay? God's destroying them. It's game over for them. Okay? They're going to be stuck. Okay? They're going to be stuck in a karmic cycle until they can get their shit right. Until they can actually um, admit their faults. Okay? Fishing. Like, okay? Somebody like fishing. You could be fishing. Okay? This also could be fishing for information. Okay? Trying to get information out of you. Spider-Man. Somebody loves Spider-Man. Spider-Man energy. Wow, my light just flickered. Hunger Games. Lewis. Okay, you may be guided to watch the movie Hunger Games. Okay, watch the movie Hunger Games or Spider-Man. Kiki. Great Grandma Violet or Violet or Great Grandma. They're getting locked up. Okay, so these, this, coven, this coven is getting locked up. Maybe not all of them, but several of them are going to get locked up. This ex-lover may get locked up. I mean, on social media. They could have embarrassed you. They could have been posting stuff about you on social media as well. Okay? They could have, like, there's locked up. They could have been so posting things on social media about you. Okay? You may be seeing something on social media too. Their social media account may get shut down too. Okay? I'm hearing there that's something that this coven was ex lover. Their social media account may get cut down. Oh, they could be also in Facebook jail. I just heard something about Facebook jail. Kaplan, Ruben, Sanchez, Fleet could be involved in a drive-by shooting. Kevin, Willow, Cooper, wifey's a shit. Somebody's wifey's a shit. Grandma Violet came out twice. So Violet's coming out, okay? Grandma or great-grandma. Mustache. Somebody has a mustache. Europe. Somebody's blood type could be A positive. This could be yours or their their blood type. They may need that blood type. They needed your blood to do blood rituals. Naomi. Someone may have a pit bull or this pit bull energy. This is like pit bull to pit bull energy is locked down. Like, you know what I mean? Like somebody, something's locking down. They can't let go. They're not going to let up. Okay. They, they didn't want to let go of you. Okay. They didn't want to let up. And now like they're in trouble. Like they have some heavy karma. Okay. Now they can be getting bite in that bit in the ass. Okay. They wanted to bite you. Now they can get bit in the ass. Something about pit bull too. Somebody may have pit bulls. Something about pit bull fighting. Or um, somebody may um, mate pit bulls. Like they, they breed, breed pit bulls. Jehovah Witness. Manchester. Oldsmobile. Somebody tries Oldsmobile. Social Security. This kind of comes out of the other reading too. You may want to check out the reading out. Ryder. I'm keeping these up here because these are out here. Anna Lee. Pirate. Somebody's a pirate. Pirate energy. Zion or Zion. Mother slept with a child's lover. Your mother could have slept with your ex-lover. Could have been involved in this coven. Santa Monica. I don't want that there. I don't want that. Russia. Anthony. Brent, Sedona, Arizona, Lucky, Moore, Pablo, Limit Control Issues, okay, somebody has to let go, Limit Control Issues, okay, they need to stop controlling, all this, co this control issues, this, this witchcraft, this dark magic is just getting caught up in more trouble, Fallon, Paris Airport. Let go of limited beliefs. Wells. Keon. Shepard. Gucci. That's the job I should do. Hunter. Interstate. Interstate. Michael Kramer, Shorty, I am doing a lot of prayers and spending time in altar. You could be doing a lot of prayers, spending time in altar. That's why you've been protected the whole time, okay? That's why God's destroying them because you're doing the right thing, okay? You're not, you're not feeding into this stuff, okay? You're doing the right thing. Somebody could be in their 40s or born in the 40s, CPS, Child Protective Service could be involved, okay? Getting called in, children can be involved in this. Psychiatrist, 
Okay, somebody could have been a psychiatrist. You could be a psychiatrist or somebody needs to see a psychiatrist. Charger. Someone drives a Charger. Okay, Dodge Charger. And Hamilton. And Hamilton. Okay, that's what's coming out. Somebody's breaking out, like breaking out on their face really bad. Somebody could have a really, really good face. Like, okay, so like I said, God's destroying them. So they could be having like acne or like, you know, um, hives or blisters or something about blood disease too. Okay, they're getting sick. So something's happening to them because of what they've done to you. God's destroying this whole coven, this whole coven. They're siphoning their magic powers and items too. So they're siphoning you. Look at, and now their, their magic, their powers are being taken. They're being taken. They've schemed one too many times. They plotted against you. Okay. Um, this is going to be like... It cut off, you guys. The video cut off. It. I don't know what happened. It cut off. I looked at my storage. I have full storage. To, I, I don't have anything on my storage. Something didn't want this to come out. But when it cut off, it come off as scheming, Okay. Um, this is going to be edited, so I'm going to put it together, so if it kind of feels a little bit off, it's not. The last card came out scheming when it got cut off. They were scheming. They are plotting against you, okay? Uh, they wanted you gone. They wanted you dead. They were trying to keep you away from your life purpose, okay? This this ex-lover, this coven was trying to keep you away from your life purpose. With them scheming and trying to siphon your magic and your powers, some of these coven members or whatever, they're going to lose their life, okay? Some are going to end up terminally ill, Okay? Terminally ill, losing, them. they're having dementia, they're having mental health problems, they're having brain aneurysms, they're having like just these quick things, blood infections and stuff. Um, things are going to happen to them. Like I said, God's destroying them and God's destroying them to bless you. Okay? To bless you. You're going to have everything that you want, everything that you want because of what they did to you. They try to keep it from you, they try to keep you from your purpose, they try to keep you from moving forward, from healing. They didn't want you to heal. Okay, they didn't want you to heal your trauma. They didn't. They wanted to keep you stuck in a low energy, a low frequency, a low vibration. They want to keep you stuck in the underworld. They want to keep you stuck in hell, living in hell. That's what they're trying to do. Make you feel like you were someone crazy, someone that, you know, like mentally ill. Okay, that's what they want. They want to keep you stuck like in you were mentally ill. They're trying to block your downloads. They're even trying to block your downloads. Like I said, they're taking stuff from you. Okay, doing rituals, blocking your downloads confusing also like interfering in your downloads too so this is something about astro travel okay they were interfering in astro travel they were trying to um send wrong messages to you wrong downloads to you okay so you could have received some kind of wrong downloads okay like i'm hearing some like downloads about like you're not good enough this is your life purpose this is what you're supposed to do this you know what i mean like they're they're trying to confuse you okay they're trying to keep you confuse you to keep you away from your purpose to keep you away from your north node is what i'm hearing they're trying to keep you in a program okay they're trying to program you they wanted you to be in this program. Believe what they believed. They're trying to dumb you down. That's what I'm hearing. They're trying to dumb you down. Demeanor. Like, you know, their demeanor was bad. Um, not the demeanor. Um, can't think of the word. What goes wrong comes wrong. Like I said, they try to destroy you. They try to unalive you. They try to block your downloads. They try to siphon your powers. And now their powers are being siphoned. Now they're being taken from them. Now, like, bad things are happening to them. Okay, people could be scheming against them. Okay, what goes wrong comes wrong. Okay, your ex-lover and this coven could be getting federal indicted. You've been stronger than your enemies the whole time. You've been stronger than your enemies the whole time. They believed in the devil or they believed in something different than what you did. There was something deep down that you always believed in God or you always believed that you were protected or you always believed in angels. Something deep down, okay? Or God was always within you. They just wanted you to stick to the level. They wanted you to do what they needed you to do. They wanted you to be wicked. It's cooking something up, manufa manufacturing. Okay, this could be like them doing um, kitchen magic. This is them doing stuff, cooking outside, you know what I mean? Like burning things up. They wanted you dead or alive. Or they're going to be dead or alive. Okay, I'm just coming out wanted dead or alive.
they're the most wanted from spirit, okay? So they, uh, they have a spiritual bounty on them. Coven's going to jail, prison. They've been lying to you. They stole from you. They stole your time and your energy. Okay, I'm just hearing a lot of your time. Cold-hearted bitch or cold-hearted asshole. So we have liar and then we have lie, protect, lie detector test polygraph. You could be a human lie detector test, okay? A human polygraph. Okay, so you know when people are lying and telling the truth. When I say a bounty, they, they have a spiritual bounty on them. Grim Reaper's coming in. Coming for them. Angel of Death. Okay, just her Angel of Death, Grim Reaper. Their lives are falling out of control now. Try to keep they, something about your life could be out of control. They try to keep your life out of control. Try to keep you on balance. Unstable. They want you unstable. Okay, now they're unstable. Somebody's been putting hands on each other. A masculine femme that keeps putting hands on people is going to jail. So they could be, they could assault people. They could fight. And there's a jail again. They could have put hands on you in the past. You could have been abused by them. Yeah, see, get ready. Something big's about to happen. Somebody's about to see this coven go down in history. Like, one by one, getting arrested or people dying, okay? Like, seeing their obituaries. They're conspiring. They could have been conspiring. Conspiracy. I'm hearing a different download there. I said Grim Reaper. Grim Reaper. They were trying to harvest your soul. They are trying to harvest other souls. And now the Grim Reaper's here. It's, it's game over for them. Okay? It, it's death. They thought they could be master of death. And, like, now they're now they're having problems. Okay? If they're not dying, they're, then they, um, they have people around them that are dying. They're losing um, family members one by one. Your ancestors have been with you the whole time. Okay? Your ancestors have been guiding you. Have been protecting you. Keeping you out of harm's way. Harm is a bitch. Okay, so they're out of control and they're losing control. This ex-lover could have been working with an ex-friend. This ex-friend could be part of this coven as well. A divorce, this means an ending. There could have been an evil couple. So there, this coven could be, there could be relationships in this. They could be sleeping together. Black magic. Trespassing. See, this ex-lover is guilty by association or anyone that's part of this coven or part of the part of this coven and this ex-lover associated with this ex-lover of this coven are guilty by association as well. You're an earth angel. So I said earth angel earlier I said a beacon. Beacon of light, you're here to warn. Okay, you're a warning. You bring warnings to other people. And they didn't want that. They didn't want you to bring warnings to other people, is what I heard. Coworker. They need to let go of you. They need to let go. Just come and put possessed by the devil okay they're working with the devil this ex-lover is the devil had negative intent towards you non-family members said they could have been doing drugs narcotics you could have been naive about this at one time with this ex-lover okay you could naive you're somebody that's very positive, positive intent towards others, loving, caring, kind. Okay, I'm hearing you didn't want bad things happening to this ex-lover. You didn't want bad things happening to this, co this coven, okay? Um, you're not attacking them. Like, you're giving it all to God. You're asking God to handle the situation for you. 
You can get a telepathic message is coming. Telepathy. Give to telepathy. Yeah, they're a bully. They're a bully. I'm going to tell telepathy again. You have gift of telepathy. So that's where you know you could be a walking lie detector test, a polygraph, where you know when people are lying or um, telling the truth. Like, you just know. And because someone's telling you, do a gift of tele telepathy, okay? Reading people's minds. You call them out, too. I'm just hearing, like, you call them. You could call them out. And that could be why, too, this ex-lover or coven... You could have called out this ex-lover or this coven and that and then like they're like, oh my gosh, they call me out. This person knows, this person knows I'm lying. This person knows I'm involved in this stuff. Like this earth angel, this light worker, this beacon, they know that I'm lying. They know what I did. They're calling me out. They're exposing me. I need to try to stop this. We need to, we need to end this person's life. Do you call them out? But God's seen it all. God's watched all. God, God's been recording it all. Look at karmic masculine. Okay, karmic lover, karmic masculine. This was lust. You thought you were in love, but it was just lust, okay? It was lust. There's no real love here, okay? You thought this person could have been, like, good looking. Because they, look at, wow. Hmm. Entity attachment, okay? This karmic masculine is an entity attachment. Health issues. Legal situations now. Dealing with the legal situation. Legal, they're dealing with the court situation. And you are that earth angel. You are that rising star. They were a bully, a flying monkey. There's going to be a big change. Big change in your life. Like I said, you're going to be blessed, okay, with everything that you want and need. Okay, everything that you want and need. Real love, a commitment. If this is what you wanted. They're trying to keep this away from you. You're going to get this real love. You're going to get this commitment. You're going to have financial blessing. You're going to be a rising star, okay? Influence or whatever it is, okay? You're going to have everything that you want because they try to come at you, okay? They try to hurt you. They try to keep you stuck. They try to make you insane, look insane because they're jealous and envy. They're doing death magic on you. You're unbothered by all this. You took a different path into the light, okay? And look at this is some kind of the community, okay? Like this is a community that was um, hurting you, this coven community. Poverty. Now they're now look at they are like homeless, have no place to live, have no place to go, have no money, they have nothing left because they have this unclean spirit on them. This flying monkey, you moved on. You have a love offer coming in. You're ascending. They're getting locked up. Like this, all just coming, like they're, they're getting locked up, okay? They're mental locked up. Everything I just said, it's right here. Like, this is just a confirmation while I was channeling. All this just came out. You're going to be blessed with opportunities. Like I said, everything you want and need, you're going to be blessed with. They're going to be big mad. They're going to be big mad sitting in that jail cell watching this, okay? Sitting in this jail cell, okay? Sitting in this hospital bed. Where's the hospital? Sitting in this hospital bed seeing that, oh, wow. The person I just tried to hurt, the person I just tried to keep stuck... She has a she or he has a love offer coming in. They have opportunities. They have a commitment. They're sending. They're having financial wealth, financial biz, uh, abundance, good health. They could have came after a child to attack a child. Okay, that's a no no. Okay, God's like you don't touch my anointed or you could be the anointed child of God. You don't touch children. Somebody could be emotional too, crying. They could be crying. They could be acting like a child, very immature. Manipulation. Confirmation. Manipulation. Everything I just said is right here. Manipulation. Um, and then on the bottom is like, you are this high priestess or priest. Knowing, intuition, into the supernatural. Hmm. Said they're going to have some huge karma. Big, big karma. But with this, they're getting bad karma. You're getting blessings that you want and need. And this is good karma for you. Somebody had a Jezebel spirit. I'm going to spirit, okay? I have a couple of these too. And I'm gonna... See, they're throwing illusion at you. Getting an inferior lifestyle. Confirmation. Covenant ties.
false report lying on you, slandering your name, defamination, character, to the community, to others, getting others involved. This caused a lot of heartbreak for you, heart pain, or heartbroken, okay, pain, endings, hurt, betrayal, okay, this, this did hurt, okay, this did hurt. That, they, they, that your ex-lover was involved with this coven or this coven was involved with your ex-lover and they're coming against you. They were trying to destroy you, try to hurt you, okay? Try to betray you. They were betraying you, okay? Trying to keep you stuck, keeping you in a self known, Not allowing you to step into your purpose because that's what they didn't want. They didn't want you to come into your purpose. They didn't want you to come into your higher self. They didn't want you to ascend, okay? They didn't want you to ascend. They didn't want you to activate your higher dimensional conscious self, okay? They didn't want you to be a multidimensional being. They didn't want that. Your dreams are coming true. Wish fulfillment, celebration, and achievement. God's blessing you. They thought they were above the law. Okay, they thought they were above the law. Controlling, security, reckless, God complex. They thought they were above the law. They're not. The North or Northern. We have Libra. This is Justice. Tennessee coming out. Route 66. Yep. See group. Move, group effort. Gang moves. Working together. We have Aquarius. And they're guilty. God's seen this the whole time. They're guilty. They're trying to block your blessings. Stop your blessings. And it's not happening. You're going to be blessed 10 times more than what they wanted. I'm hearing 50 times more. Just you're going to be blessed, 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 okay? You're going to have a blessing after a blessing after a blessing. Just nonstop blessings, okay? They can be small blessings to huge blessings. Capricorn coming out. Texas. Mississippi. You're going to touch the world with your gifts. You could be moving a new apartment. A new house. Signing a new agreement. new vehicle yeah building a house buying a house buying a new car this is what spirit is what god is blessing you with they're gonna be humiliated humiliated okay they were false divine feminine masculine okay you thought this ex-lover could have been a true divine feminine masculine or feminine they're not okay they're they're false okay they're fake we have virgo coming out Ages between 20 and 30. Trying to cover up their mistakes. Trying to cover shit up. Pisces. You're going to be secured, okay? You're, you're, you're going to be secured. You're going to be provided for. You're going to be blessed. You're just going to see... You're going to see positive things, good things, okay? You're going to see a lot of good things. And you're gonna see you're gonna you're gonna to see or hear this 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 coven or this ex lover just be destroyed. Okay? It could be through this reading, it could be through social media, it could be through a friend or a family member, okay? You could have heard it. Somebody could be gaining a lot of weight or losing a lot of weight too, okay? That happens when you do a lot of black magic, dark magic, you can gain a lot of weight or you can lose a lot of weight. If you're normally a normal size person, um, if you're normally small, you gain a lot of weight. If you're normally big, you can lose a lot of weight, okay? Or you can just get even, you could be a bigger person and gain more weight too. Um, you can tell, okay? That's what I'm hearing too is like you're somebody that can tell if they have an entity attachment, okay? If they're an unclean spirit, if they're a Jazbel, a uh, succubus, incubus, you're someone can tell, okay? Maybe not right away because they're keeping you stuck. And so you weren't able to see clearly, you weren't able to use your discernment. But now where you're at in life and where you're moving towards, now you can discern, okay? You, you can discern if this person has an entity attachment or if this person is an earth angel or a loving, kind person, okay? You can, you can, you can feel their frequency of vibration as well. Okay, I get mantis energy there, a mantis being okay. Mantis is a um, star seed, and they feel things. They know things. They feel frequencies. And like, um, some say mantises are bad and evil. Okay, some are good. But something about like you can feel them even a mile away or a next city away. 
okay? So you can you can drive through a city or a town and you can feel if that town has some like bad energy or good energy. Um, if it's more demonic or more godly, you can tell now, okay? And if you can't, you're going to tell, okay? That's your gift. That's just like I said, a walk, you're a walking uh, polygraph, okay? A walking lie detector test. They didn't like that. That that this ex lover and this coming did not like that. Okay, they did not like you being this walking um lie detector test. Polygraph. You see right through their bullshit. You call them out on it. They didn't like that. You they you call them out with being a flying monkey and they're doing death spells. Okay, death magic. You you call them out on it. You call them out about their manipulation. You call this ex lover out about it. Okay, you confronted them. Okay, you confronted them and they were not like. Then they became more jealous and envy because they're like, how the hell does this, this, this earth angel or how the hell does this person, you know, they probably, I'm here they called you names. How do they know that I'm doing death magic? We're, we're stealing from them. We're, we're bullying them. We're manipulating them. We have an, a, a demon on us. How, how did this person know? How does this person know that we're involved in this and we're involved in that and we're doing this and we're doing that? How do they know? Hm. God, that's why God was telling you. But they're blocking your downloads for a while. Okay? So, like, you weren't able to see. You could have been naive. And because there's something about you could have had, a, you could have had an unclean spirit, too. Okay? You could have had a demonic spirit on you, too. You could have had a succubus incubus attached to you. Okay? Unclean spirit attached to you, too. And you had to uh, cleanse that. You had to get away from that. Okay? You had to ask God to remove anything that is dark, evil. Okay? Because that, that, that's what I'm hearing. You could have had that as well. You could have been a karmic. Okay? Dealing with something. When you were still sleeping, okay? Because they were doing sleep spells on you or you are sleeping, you weren't woke yet. And so you were able to be attacked very easily. Remember, a federal indictment too. So. Try to keep you stuck. Now they're going to be stuck. They're immature. They are all in trouble. So they are in trouble. They all spare some of all in trouble. Third party interference. What did I say earlier? They have third party interference. I saw 21, 21 on the clock. Somebody could be gay. We have X. They're a snake. They're a parasite. You're a hard worker. Okay, you're a hard worker. You could be a mom. Okay, you're a very hard worker. Mom, father, okay? Parents, you're a very hard worker. Stay home. Okay, stay home. Stay away from them. Don't associate with them. Focus on yourself. Focus on yourself. Focus on your family. Focus on your healing. Focus on your growth. Because you're going to move forward. You're going to keep going. You're going to keep sending. While they're all falling. While they're all being destroyed. Somebody was really kinky. Into stuff that you weren't into. Maybe you did stuff with this person. Maybe you did stuff with this person that you weren't normally into. But they're kinky and you wanted to please this person. You want to make this person happy. And then they went back. You they could, you could have been kinky with them. Like they were kinky and then like you did this stuff with them because you want to make them happy. You thought you were in love with them and so it was lust. And then they went back to the coven and told them everything that they did with you. Okay, all this kinky stuff. All this sexual stuff that was supposed to be between you and this person, okay? You tell the truth. Okay, make sure you tell the truth. Whatever's being said, whatever's happening, tell the truth. Do not lie about it, okay? There's a Leo. They'll do anything for clout or money. They could have got paid. This ex-lover could have got paid to keep close to you. Be kinky with you. There's Leo. Again, did I say Leo? I just want one more.
okay, the focus came out. Focus on the job. They're scared. This coven, this ex-lover is scared now because they know that God's destroying them. And you're going to be blessed with everything and everything that you ever wanted and needed. R. And there's that focus again. They try to sacrifice you. <laughs> Someone may end up with HIV, AIDS. Your purpose is close. Okay, if you haven't stepped in your purpose, it's really close. There could have been a sister too. The journey, Persephone, see? They're trying to keep you away from your journey. They're trying to keep you away from your purpose. You're stepping into this, okay? They're trying to keep you away. Poison you. Keep you stuck in the underworld. Persephone was stuck in the underworld, okay? Hades kept her in the underworld, but Hades just wanted love. So, somebody could be in the energy of Hades, too. But Persephone ate the, at the pomegranate. She'd be stuck in the um, underworld, but she only ate part of it. So, she got to go back up during the springtime and summer with her mom. And then when fall and winter came, she would go back down to the underworld. Okay? They wanted to keep you stuck in the underworld the whole time in hell. Okay? But you loyal. See, you're a loyal person. A very loyal person. You were loyal to this this ex-lover and possibly this coven. Like, not realize... You you didn't realize it was a coven. Okay? You you realized it was an ex-lover's group of family or people. Okay? And you could have been loyal to him. You've been kind to him. You could have been treating him like kind and just being loyal and they were treating you disrespectfully they're lying to you they weren't they're unloyal okay but you were loyal to them and that's why god's destroying them because you you didn't treat them disrespectfully you weren't hurting them you weren't betraying them you weren't lying to them huh there's hunter world persephone and hades yep hunter world as well okay the story about hades and persephone is actually a beautiful story okay it's kind of beautiful too um so I'm hearing what this is like Hades is keeping the, bringing these coven, this coven and this ex-lover to he, the underworld, to hell. And like he is going to keep them stuck there. Because Hades is actually a good god. He His purpose was to keep the demonic people, demon, or de demons, demonic, the wicked, in the underworld in hell. Okay, keep them there. They're, they weren't supposed to come back to earth. They weren't supposed to go to heaven. They're supposed to stay in hell because they're demonic. Okay, they're evil. And so his purpose was to keep them there. And so Hades may be stepping in here right now and keeping... This coven, putting this coven and this ex-lover in hell. Okay, in the underworld. Keep them stuck there. Hades was a, a nicer god than uh, Zeus. And I say that all the time. I actually, I don't think Hades is an evil god. He just has a purpose to keep demons in hell. In the underworld. And he just wanted a wife. He just wanted a partner. And that's why he um, had... He didn't... He didn't... Ki okay. He did kind of kidnap Persephone. But it was because Zeus gave him permission. See, Zeus is the evil one. Zeus just handed Persephone off to um, Hades without permission. Without permission from her mom and permission from Persephone. So Zeus just handed her off. Okay? Hades just wanted someone to love and wanted somebody... Down, a queen in the underworld. That's all he wanted. And... Zeus manipulated it. And then then um, Demeter was very sad because she lost her daughter. She was looking for her daughter. She asked Hectic to help. And then they agreed upon that. She'd go back up six months. And then she goes back down to Underworld in six months. So it's actually a beautiful story if you want to hear it. Just, Persephone went on a journey. And that's something you may have went on this journey too. Okay, you go on this journey. 85. Opportunities coming your way. Focuses are aligning with you. Prosperity, blessings. Align with your life, your divine plan, and karma. Spirit, tell me someone to go over the story of Persephone and um, Hades. Leo, Capricorn, Aries, Taurus. Leo, Capricorn, Aries, Taurus. And something about, something about, you may like pomegranate. That could be significant. Somebody likes pomegranate. Somebody loves pomegranate. Somebody loves flowers, too. Pomegranate's only seasonal. That's two. Okay, somebody's pom pomegranate's only seasonal. And I'm also getting the energy of Demeter and then Hectic. Hectic is a triple goddess. So somebody could be in, like, the um, energy of Hectic, the triple goddess, or Demeter. 
Okay. I love you guys. Love, peace, like, hell, namaste.